Hello, hello guys, Abby Inventing here. So today we're going to be doing a Minecraft barn tour. So we are technically on light inventing stables on single player mode. It's really awesome. So we're going to go ahead and start with the tour. And also I'm going to be doing some uh, um, riding with some of my horses. And also there's actually going to be a really nice offer later on in this video. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So right here, what I was behind, this technically says, Welcome to Light Inventing Stables. I put it that there for people who spawn right here on this block. So if we walk around, there are three big giant barns. I made three of these. So this is the fir the second barn that I made. It's technically a barrel racing, dressage, and show jumping arena. So like if you have horses, you can just sign up right here. And then you enter in to the pins. And then once your pin is open, you can go do whatever you want in the inside the dressage, barrel racing, or show jumping. So as we walk, as we go this way, we have a stallion pasture and a mare pasture to keep them separated. Here's a small breeding stable. I don't know why it's so small, but I made it like that. So as we enter here, here's an office. Um, uh, these are cross... Sorry, guys. Um, that was my... Uh, dungeon thing but these are things that you hook up your horse on to get to give them a bath or stuff and of course all my horses are wild in here except for that one those two over there that is raven and his father optimus i named him that so we have a lot of horses we have a wash stall barrel rate barrels and uh water troughs And also we have a light switch to turn off and on. So this is my big giant Bessie show jumping arena. I just got done with this a few minutes ago and it is really, really huge. So technically the way you're supposed to go, so here's the starting line, you jump over that and then you go over this and then you jump over this. Oh. And then you jump over that, and then you jump over this, jump over that, jump over that, jump through that, hoping your horse can make it through that, 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 and then you jump over this one. These are like little poles that you go into. And here's a little mount. And also, I got this mount on a, a video of Hickstead. Hickstead. Um, uh, where Esme went to ride Casper at the Hickstead, um, uh, and also I added a jump right there, and then a jump right here, and the red means end, so. And now we're going to move on to the next stable over here. So this one took me a little bit longer to build than the other ones, because this one's a little bit bigger, and also that's a pasture for all the horses inside here and over there. So we walk in, we see a lot of horses. So some of these are for rent, for rent. And also some of these are filled with horses. So technically this horse is um, recommended by Day by Day Blogs. Of course, Stella, she crossed the rainbow, I think a few days or weeks. Please uh, write down in the comments if I'm wrong, but this is, giving me remembrance of Stella so I'm Dabby. so if we come up here we have the hayloft also also um uh, since I don't have a house yet I'm just hanging up here and if people want to join me there's a uh, beds and chests right there so if we come down this way we have a big giant water fountain and then we have barrels, of course. And also we have a switch that turns off all the stall lights and turns them all back on. 
So technically these are my real life horses. This is one of my real life horses, Raven. He is a big horse. Casper, Esme's horse. And here's Diana. And here is Elvis. Elvis is the one I have right now. And yeah, we have a lot of horses. And over here, we have three wash stalls. One, two, three wash stalls. Sorry if you can see the fan. It's because my um, uh, shadow thing is not working. And I call these treadmills. Let me demonstrate. Let me go ahead and get my horse out. So I'm going to use Raven as a demonstration. I hadn't tamed him yet, but I'm going to use him as a demonstration. So technically a treadmill, you know, in real life, humans use treadmills to run on them for a long time. So they can get leg workout. So I use these treadmills for a certain reason. I forgot that I didn't finish these treadmills yet. But we are going to put that one right there. Tie him up right there. So as you can see, um, uh, he is tied up to a, a fence right there. But I'm going to call it pole for short. Sorry guys, this thing is frustrating. So he is tied up and as we come up here, the water comes down and then the horses try to swim their way up. So that is personally what I think. Okay. I'm going to have to do something about that. But I did this in my other world. And it actually comes really handy. Because you can just leave them right here. With nothing to do. And he's stuck. So I'm going to do that to block his way from coming up. I can technically do this. I can go on. I know you're not mount, you're not mounted yet, but technically I used this back in my other video, back in my other world, and technically it actually works because he tries to swim up. It's like a it's like a little treadmill in real life, but different. It's like he's swimming on a treadmill. So technically, it's. I call it a treadmill because I was thinking, how do people make treadmills for horses? So I thought that I can make a treadmill for horses out of water. And when I first tried it out, it was actually pretty fascinating of how it actually worked. So technically, I have a treadmill. Did you really have to do that? So, and also, we have a big, giant training indoor training course. So, I use these lights as decorations for the top of the ceiling. Technically, this is not, it's like a ceiling, but it's not, it's made of, just made of glass. And also, these are lanterns. I put in lanterns to give it a little bit more of fashion. And since Raven is working out over there to get his energy out, I'm going to show y'all my tack room slash feed room. So I use a sign as a feed chart. Sorry, my head's right there. Um, I use my si signs as a feed chart. So it says Raven and Elvis, Red, and Casper. I need to change that. Red's not here anymore. Um, uh, but these are all the competition feeds. Um, if y'all have not seen this, I think it's on Abigail Pine Heaven Haven's channel. She mentioned this, um, a uh, prob. I think she mentioned this, um, uh, or someone else I watched, but I think is Abigail Pine Heaven. She's she made one of these as um grain or feed holders, which is really suit suitable for me because um uh, I use it for basic feed alpha alpha A if I hadn't spelled that right um a competition mix and over here she also demonstrated how to make these little head these helmet holders which is off the charts thank you Abigail Pinehaven for figuring out a way for me to have my helmets hanged up when I need them to be they actually are really suitable like they're really nice to hold like they're it's like they're just sitting there like you could just take it off and put it back on there 
And also, she also demonstrated how to make one of these bridal racks. And also, you just, so I'll, if y'all haven't seen her do it yet, I'm going to show y'all how to do it. So you grab an armor stand. And I'd rather go ahead and grab a block. So I usually do that for start. Hang on, it's not, it has to be under something not, okay. So you grab an armor stand, and then you start to go with it different ways. And it's, hang on. So it's really, really cool how she did this. I had no idea that she could do this. And then you have a firmly armor stand, which is really cool. Thank you, Abigail Pinehaven, for demonstrating this little... Ah, hang on. This little, these, um, ideas for horses on Minecraft. It is really, really, really appreciated by Abby Inventing. You're, technically, you're my favorite YouTuber. And you are amazing. So, guys, if we continue on, this is a blank. These are my blankets, but I don't have any in stock yet. I haven't gone that far. Like, dude, I I haven't gone that far yet. It's almost there. Like, I'm almost. Almost. But, yeah, I haven't gone that far. Um, uh, I'm going to be making blankets later. Are you frozen? But the reason I like these horses is because it looks like they're actually wearing polos on their legs. But I mean, I figured out that those are technically socks, but I think they're polos because you can actually see the brown part below their white socks. And this one looks exactly like my horse. My horse has all four socks and a stripe on his head. But he's a little bit smaller. Also, when you want to take out your horse, I'm going to go ahead and get Diana out. So if you want to hold your horse still while you're tacking up, you can go ahead and tie her right there. Tie your horse right there, and then she'll, and then he'll, or she'll, he, she, will stay still. And also, here is another thing about the stalls, which I, me and my horses. But this is technically a hopper and also a cauldron. I use it as food and water. So technically I hadn't put any grain in there yet. But um, I will. Are you ever going to come in? Huh? Hang on. Okay guys, I just got her back in. And Casper is already wanting out. And also, I did these lights like this. And these two are supposed to be like that because technically, um, uh, I didn't have enough space to put both of them in. But I used these jungle trapdoors and also sea lanterns to make the lighting a little bit more nice. And also, if we look this way... This one will turn off all the lights. Okay, guys, it's down to the offer. So, if y'all like and comment down below y'all's horse's name, breed, and gender, color, and personality, I will maybe put one of y'all's horses inside my stable. See all these four rents? This could be one of your horse's stalls if y'all just comment down below and comment what your horse is and also its personality. I will maybe give y'all a horse for y'all's own Minecraft. Well, technically my Minecraft game, but I will make a video of another video of another tour because I'm going to be making more stuff in the upcoming more videos and also your horse will be right here in my barn so guys thank you so much for watching if you are new or have not done already please like and subscribe and also in two more days on the first day of the, the second day of the week i believe 
on Monday is my birthday. Like, it is awesome! So yes, I'm going to be 13, and y'all should comment down below what I should be buying for my birthday. Like, should I buy stuff for my horse? Should I buy stuff for Minecraft? Should I buy stuff for Star Stable? And also, what else should I buy? Who knows? Because I'm running out of ideas here. And also, you can comment down below what should I be doing next. So thank you so much for watching. As as said before, if you're new or not that, that done so ready, please like and subscribe and comment down below what your horse's name and your per his personality and you might get a horse stall inside my stables. So see y'all next time. Bye!